And we move now to a more business related uh, question um, and targeted more specifically for the Traveler Main Network. What measures are you taking to ensure business flexibility, both B2B and B2C? And we'll take our order with the maybe uh, Catherine, starting with Le Bristol as of reopening. Definitely, the, the word will be uh, the main uh, word will be flexibility. We, uh, spe and especially for uh, the group business, we, we will um, implement and we did already decide uh, our future uh, policy for the future, for the, the next month until the end of the year and then for uh, winter 21, uh, 20, 20, 20, 21. So it will be really nearly no cancellation fee until really like uh, the last minute and uh, to make sure people are not uh, hesitating to make any booking for the groups because uh, this will be really the the big uh, I mean uh, fear for the people uh, is uh, we <laughs> I introduce you my husband I'm just <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> uh, so uh, so that's the the key word definitely flexibility uh, for the cancellation policy and uh, regarding the the rates, we might have some good rates for, I mean, uh, local like uh, a Parisian or um, I mean French uh, clientele or European for weekends uh, during the the months of September, October. We might have some very interesting offer for for them to enjoy uh, the pleasure being in a palace. Uh, and having uh, the, uh, back in the restaurant with some uh, good rates. So and that might be the, the offer. How about the uh, for traveler made agencies? Are you thinking of any incentives for the future or it will come as it comes? Catherine, uh, you are you are muted. I think we can't hear you. So, sorry. No <laughs> have this uh, not yet it honestly it's not yet ready and uh, um, we didn't uh, we didn't think of it yet because we just uh, decide the opening date so we need to work on it we we'll let you know of course okay wonderful thank you uh, Nidal how about REITs what is your um, policy Yes, so for, for us, it's the same, of course, flexibility, obviously, uh, it, it was already uh, required. It was uh, since the beginning, since uh, the very first cancellations uh, we had, uh, refundment, uh, postponement, uh, anything possible to help the agents and to help the clients uh, to come back. Uh, the staycation rates, for sure, we're thinking uh, of this. Uh, for the locals, uh, the Ritz Paris also, huh? like uh, like all the palace uh, hotels and the, the hotels in general in Paris, the Parisians, they like to come into the hotel and enjoy a weekend. And now more than ever, because uh, they are not allowed to travel very far, but they keep uh, uh, dreaming and they, they want hideaways and getaways. And we are here for this as well. Um, for the group uh, offers, of course, we, we, you will hear more and more about the, the, the group uh, offers. And for the traveler made, I, I need uh, to uh, perhaps uh, mention that just recently we added really beautiful benefits for, for traveler made. Uh, the, all the benefits, uh, I think, we, ne we need to make them. Um, uh, to, to give them value, to, to give value of in, in terms of dollars and in terms of euros of those benefits. For instance, for us, the flexible check-in and flexible check-out will still be on. Uh, and, this, and this is sometimes a value of one night, uh, not to mention, of course, uh, the, the, the American breakfast for everyone. And of course, the round trip transfers with uh, the VIP welcome at uh, the airport. This is today more than ever very important for the clients to feel welcomed and taken in hand and taken in charge since the moment they, they leave their plane or their train. So uh, we, probably we need, we need to, again, to give them more value uh, for, the, for the travelers, for the agents to, to really see them and, um, and speak about it more. 
So uh, no, nothing, nothing else uh, to to add. We will see how how in September the, the activity will pick up, and of course, will be very reactive as as uh, my homologues in in the other hotels. Thank you, Nidal. Well, let's let's move on then to uh, to the gentleman to Nathaniel. Yes. Um, so I. I we, I think we, we, we adapt to the market. Uh, we, I think we, we are adapting it for the past months and, and currently for the month of June to uh, the clientele that we are uh, welcoming. Um, they are more price sensitive. Um, we are with talking to a European clientele and we're in Paris, so they, 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 they don't spend as much as our other clients from the US, from Russia, from the Middle East or from Latin America. Um, as Nidal said, I think the, uh, the transfers are really important and we include them for travel and made for any three night stays. So usually when people come from um, uh, the province, they are um, coming for three nights. And then we also, uh, we adapt in terms of uh, cancellation policy. So for example, when we had a guest arriving yesterday from the UK and we had a same day cancellation policy for her, everything is kind of tailor-made depending on the guest because the, the, the client was telling us that I'm not sure if I can really book board the train to come. So of course we were flexible, we said, okay, no worries. I mean, we, you'll just let us know whenever, uh, if it's confirmed or not. Uh, the transfers are important because of the, it's part of the safety measures. And then we know the company, the, the cart company that we work with, so we trust them for safety measures. And I think it's also rea reassuring um, for the guests. Uh, in terms of rates, um, we have, as I, I was saying, adapted to the market. We have, uh, I don't want to say dropped, but I think we have like lowered a little bit our rates. Of course, they are not June rates, but I would say uh, low season rates. Um, we um, it, it it doesn't. Uh, some people say, but why not? I mean, it's better to sell a room at six hundred euros on not selling it than not selling it. And the answer is no, because once you go low, you don't come back up. Definitely. Uh, so we want to respect the product. We want to respect the uh, the design, the vision of the owner, and what is the I mean. What is the hotel for? We are, of course, uh, flexible with uh, upgrades. Um, and I mean, we, we are here to please the clients. There are a few clients we need to please them. We want to make them uh, a dazzling stay and definitely a, rem uh, a, a memorable one. Thank you, Nathaniel. Did you want to ask? No, 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 it's okay. Perfect. Okay, then we move on to, to Isabel. And um, yeah, what are your... Um, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Um, so same as, uh, as my colleagues, uh, definitely uh, total flexibility, cancellation policies are very flexible and tailor-made as well. Um, you know that usually it's 3 p.m. Uh, the day before arrival, but we do take, I mean, case by case, uh, 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 the circumstances, circumstances into account. Uh, we have already um, prepared and loaded a, a special offer that is uh, available on our uh, GDS uh, for traveler made agencies. So you can book two equal three uh, with a guaranteed upgrade, as we know that uh, uh, clients and guests are looking for more space. So uh, they will go automatically into a larger room, uh, which we thought was something that was uh, very uh, key for them. And, uh, and talking about airport transfer, it's also part of our traveler-made offer. And uh, I just wanted to add something on the uh, airport transfer because uh, there, are, there are many partners for our hotels in Paris. Uh, if we take the, uh, the car transfers, uh, they have put into place some very clear regulations and sanitary measures for all the limo uh, transfers and uh, airport transfers. So that's already uh, confirmed by all our partners in Paris. And also, uh, just to add, it's no longer the theme, but still talking about partners and hotelier suppliers, all the uh, laundry, cleaning, outside companies have also uh, set up uh, some very clear processes on sanitary measures. Just wanted to add that because they are also uh, playing the same uh, game with us. I understand. Do you have any view on the rates for end of the year, next year? Do you think they're going to, to change in a way? Difficult to say. I mean, uh, already the uh, two equal three night stays is giving a, a, a very nice discount uh, for uh, all the guests. 
This offer is valid uh, from the day of the reopening till uh, December 2020. Uh, and yes, uh, we will monitor along the months uh, which markets are coming back to Paris. Uh, and uh, as Nathaniel was mentioning, when, uh, when we talk to long haul flights, uh, rates are a little bit less uh, price sensitive. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. I think we have uh, Martin still to answer to this question. Uh, thank you, Diana. Uh, yes, before the, um, the outbreak uh, of the COVID-2019, uh, so our standard policy basically were uh, 48 hours prior to arrival to cancel and uh, without any penalty fee. Uh, of course, this has changed uh, completely and um, as my colleagues, flexibility is definitely in place. I have received um, updated cancellation. So basically, we, we will go to for the long term. So end of uh, July 2021, uh, we are updating our cancellation standard cancellation policy up to 24 hours prior to arrival. And uh, we will uh, stick with it and really put some specific cancellation policy on uh, fair. Uh, next year, there will be the, the air show and uh, probably some fashion weeks. But the overall idea is to give flexible reconciliation policy until July 2021. So it's not only uh, for the recovery period, it's for after and for the, um, and for the long term. Uh, we, we are launching some um, attractive, of course, uh, offers, uh, same as my colleagues. In regards to the rate, uh, I think we are all following the same trend, which is uh, do not lower your rates, otherwise it's going to be very complicated, like Nathaniel mentioned. Uh, to, to, to pick it up and we have some respect for the product. So uh, for the first time we have launched an offer. So it will be launched end of the week, early next week for, for, for Traveler Made, which is similar to the Tessa, which is at two for three. Uh, so you book tonight to have the third night free. So it will, of course, have an impact for the staycation. So we wanted to, to give access as well to those uh, short term stay. And this two for three will be valid until for bookings until end of March, 2021. With, uh, with confirmed uh, upgrade at time of booking as well to the next category or to the next suite category. So if you book the, the, the second room category, you have automatic upgrade to a suite. And it was important as well to, to, to launch this, this offer, but not uh, update the rate. So for the moment, the rate strategy for the Parquet uh, remains what it was before the outbreak. What we have changed mainly are, of course, more flexible conciliation policies and more attractive offers to, to create some demands for Paris because we know uh, it has been mentioned that probably first uh, clients will lead and will go to, uh, to the countryside or to the seaside or the ocean and then uh, they will come to the city. But we need, we definitely need to attract some of the clients uh, for city breaks or for staycation stay. Wonderful. And you're doing so with your beautiful background. You are in a what category of suite it's are you? A, yeah, it's a three bedroom uh, imperial suite, uh, which is the, 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 the largest suite of the, of the hotel. I wish I could have done it outside uh, with the view of the Place Vendôme and the Eiffel Tower, but uh, uh, Mother Earth was not with us today, but I have the pleasure to, to be in, in this suite uh, while it's still unoccupied and while the hotel is still closed. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. I think Madeleine is back with us. Um, so we're going to ask her as well what the policy of Evoque Hotels is regarding um, uh, business flexibility and, and cancellation and rates. Yeah, so uh, at Evoque, uh, most of our properties always had very flexible um, uh, policies. So uh, we will not impact uh, the client uh, with uh, uh, hard policies. It is always 24 hours prior arrival. In case of um, uh, uh, big circumstances as we had with uh, the, the COVID, we of course have cancelled all bookings without any any fees and most of the clients have uh, uh, modified their stay. Uh, they didn't cancel them uh, completely. In regard to the B2B, we are uh, um, actually activating um, uh, very interesting uh, possibilities. We are also uh, trying to see if we can create packages with the B2B uh, community. We are also, uh, what we really wish to develop 
is to develop a B2B um, rate or a B2B package completely exclusive with uh, TravelerMade. This is our main uh, point. This is what I have seen uh, this week uh, at the office um, for the three properties, of course. And we also have Courchevel um, uh, at uh, the, the Amour de la Volière at Courchevel 1850. I think that building uh, exclusive experiences without, you know, um, I don't think that we have to, to touch on the rates. The rates have to, has to stay like they are. They have to stay high. They have to be, of course, adapted to uh, the fair trade that have been cancelled or not, depending on the period. Because, you know, normally, for example, for us, uh, June is a very high season, September, October, September is a high season. Actually, we have adapted it to a middle season uh, for our properties because we, as most of the trades have been uh, cancelled, we are seeing what is happening. As soon as uh, we are completely sure of the period, we will, of course, readapt the rates. And, you know, with the technology we have, Adapting the rates is very, very, uh, very easy now. We can we can go very fast. There is not it's not a problem of uh, adaptation. I, I think it's only a problem of building your rates. Uh, so um, what what we have did mostly at Evoc is we didn't touch our bar. We have only created new rate plans that are adapted to the sanitary situation. So these rate plans are closed and open depending on the uh, situation of the demand. So our bar rates are not at all uh, touched. So this is one of our main strategies. And we have to work, of course, on the B2B, mostly on the B2B. So we are really, really uh, have discussed also a little bit um, uh, with Maria Eleni about it. I, I think exclusivity, uh, new experiences, new trains has to be uh, created uh, uh, to, to make the client um, discover new emotions. And um, of course, um, what, what I think is that we are uh, the ones who will uh, make the change uh, things, the agencies and the hotels. This will make the client um, come back. As soon as they see that we are active, that we are all dynamic, and we all we are all trustful, trustful on our destination, and what we are able to do, the client will trust on us uh, automatically. So uh, I don't think we have to, to to hold too much. I think that we have to try um, all the possibilities uh, adapted, you know, to the new trends that are coming um, uh, next year. Yeah, that's another word that we've been hearing. It's uh, agility and the pos this, this uh, capability of really adapting very fast to, to the demand. Thank you, Madeleine.